Cracknell Town won over £20,000 for their epic FA Cup journey this season. So we've come down to the SB Stadium to see how that money will be spent. Whilst we try and track down the accountant, here are some quick fire facts about Bracknell Town. The club now play in the Southern League Prem South Division, which is just three promotions away from the Football League. They won the Ithmian League South Central Division last season by securing 96 out of 108 possible points. That meant they won the league by a whopping 20 points. They equaled their best performance in the FA Cup this season when they reached the first round proper. It resulted in a home tie against League One's Ipswich Town live on the telly box. And it went a little something like this. The game took place at the SB Stadium in front of over 2,000 fans, including 350 travelling Ipswich supporters. The Robins held their own until an own goal in the 66th minute. That was followed by a Freddie Ladapo goal and a finish by Panuche Kamara sealed the victory for Ipswich Town. The end. £20,000 is a hell of a lot of cash. So what we want to know is, if you were to win that amount of money, what would you spend it on? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, actually, let's ask the players as well. If you personally won £20,000, what would you spend it on? Hmm, that's a great question. Holiday with the boys end of the year. <laughs> Where would you go? I think we're going Ibiza now, so I'll probably go towards that. Oh, I'd have a good holiday, that's for sure. Where would you go? Barbados. What would I spend it on? A new car. Ooh, what kind of car would you get? Oh, I don't know. I just need a new car. <laughs> Might get a Euros for 20,000. Maybe. Maybe that. What would you spend 20,000 pounds on? A house. Nice house. Oh my word. Probably boring, something like invest it or something, but I don't know, like, buy a nice car. Holiday. Where would you go? Maldives. Save it for summer. Maybe the Maldives, something like that. Who would you go with? Oh, yeah, this is invest in property. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd invest in crypto. Who should I invest in? Ethereum, maybe Solana, one of those two, yeah. Pan off that. According to the FA website, this is the prize pot for the clubs competing in the FA Cup this season. First qualifying round, 2,250. Second qualifying round, 3,375 pounds. Third qualifying round, 5,625 pounds. Fourth qualifying round, 9,375 pounds. That's a grand total of £20,625. So from the chequebook to the club crest, this is the Robins badge. So this is the only crest we could find inside the ground. So what I'm going to do is put one right there. They are nicknamed the Robins. So that is why the bird is conveniently placed on a petrol station football. The club were established in 1896. It's a very modern but simplistic design. Better take that down. <laughs> Magic. Dodds, how good was it to host Football League side Ipswich Town in the FA Cup first round here? Uh, yeah, it was great. Like getting any league side to a, a non-league round is brilliant. The fans and the and the players and obviously us and the whole town got behind the, a club and that's what you want on the FA Cup. How mad was it that week? I think when the draw happened, I think the, the whole excitement of like the whole town, I think everyone's phone just went on and on and on. And obviously we had like league games and other games to like continue with. But yeah, the excitement like built and built and built and built up to a really, really good night. As a gaffer, how hard was it to concentrate on those league games when you know you've got such a big game coming up? <laughs> the lads done really well in that. We had four games before we played Ipswich. We obviously tried to keep our focus with our bread and butter is the league, like I think every manager says. But it was nice to have that on the back burner. And it's also nice because I think all the players are playing for that shirt, that starting, that starting lineup shirt. So yeah, it was good. And if you were to personally win £20,000, what would you spend it on? I'd probably spend it on them lads. I, I wouldn't lie, yeah, I'd probably, obviously like the family would obviously come first, it'd be a holiday, but I'm sure that they would squeeze something out of me, a holiday, like something towards the end of their year or something like that, but that's what we do it together. So yeah, I'm sure they should squeeze something out of me. Quick word on tonight's opponents, Plymouth Parkway. They have traveled over three hours to get here tonight. So let's find out how the journey went. One, How's the journey? Two, <laughs> How was the journey? Oh, How was the journey? Too bad, thank you. How was the journey? Uh, good, you? <laughs> it's time for Top of the Chance. This week's new entry comes from Bracknell Town. From the terrace to the changing room, this is Bracknell's Club DJ. Club captain and club DJ, what kind of music do you play for the game? Difficult, I have to try and please a lot of people. A lot of different genres in there. There's a mix of everything, old, new, a lot of Drake in there. What's your favourite type of genre before a game? Bit of, bit of rap gets us going in the mood, a bit of house gets us going as well, so probably, probably house. And whilst we were in the changing room, Scott slipped into the black and red home kit. A central crest is always a winner for us. Under Armour is optional, but needed in this cold weather. Now let's meet the chairman. 
Kane, 20,000 pounds in prize money. What will that be spent on? I think we spent it on champagne, actually. As you can see, we've invested, invested a lot here, a lot of investment to make, specifically in our uh, training ground. So we're, we're just in the process of building a pavilion, a gym. The FA Cup run will be used to go towards that. You know, people can see we've invested heavily into it the last two or three years. We're going to continue to do that. What have you done around the ground that's new? Yeah, so we spent just circa, just under about three million pound down here. We've completely redone the walkways around the outside, redone this pitch. And obviously, you can see bigger dugouts, a big new stand, the clubhouse, the fan zone. So you know, we put a lot, a lot of money into this, in, into this ground. And how did you find all the media attention in the build-up to that game against Ipswich? Two very, very intense, intense weeks. And then literally, full-time whistle goes, and you go back to being irrelevant again. Your phone goes from being red hot. People ask you for tickets, people wanting interviews, and then you go to be an absolutely no one. You wake up the next morning and no one cares who you are. We care about you, Kane. The boys are doing their final bits of finishing, and judging by this, I'm expecting a high scoring game tonight. Now let's get an inspirational team talk from the captain. We do what we did at Yate at home. We are Here we go then. Plymouth Parkway are on the attack down the right hand side. The ball is played into the box and it's cleared away by the defender. Bracknell are on the attack and the ball is played into the front man who swivels onto his left peg and hits it down the keeper's throat. Plymouth Parkway on the attack. It's a strike from distance that goes narrowly over. Bracknell play the ball down the line. He's beaten the offside trap. What can he do from here? It's a shot come cross that the keeper gathers comfortably. Bracknell on the attack again down the right hand side. It's played across and it's in. No, the flag has gone up. Right, it's time for our Judy Dent's challenge and there's money to be won. So we haven't got 20 grand to give away. All we have got is 20 pounds. The lads have got to hit every bit of metal. They get three attempts, hit the left post, the right post and the crossbar. Who's up first? Yeah. Crypto boy. Yeah. 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 Right, it is a cold Tuesday night down in Bracknell, so I've treated myself to the SB cheeseburger. And I've got to say, it looks incredible. It set me back £4.50, beautiful big patty, lovely sesame brioche bun, onions, mustard. Let's see how it tastes. Aromatic. Tender. Flames. I know what SB stands for. Super burger. Love it. The second half kicks off with a free kick by Parkway that goes over the bar. And now it's time for Bracknell to have a free kick, which they play short, and their strike whacks the Parkway defender square in the bonds. They're down the left hand side, and the ball is played across. Ah, oh, and he narrowly misses it. Another free kick to Bracknell. Played into the box. Can someone get on the end of it? Yes, they can but the keeper gathers it up. The ball on the edge of the box, Bracknell with the left swinger that goes over the top. And that is the end of the game. There were no goals. Don't forget to subscribe to Location Football and we'll catch you in the next one, people.